Aloha everyone and welcome back to our channel. My name is Roxy and I am the mom of Holo Holo Adventures. So if you are new here, I, well my family and I, we do all types of videos. We are a travel, food and lifestyle channel and lately we have been vlogging just because of the nature of everything going on in the world. I wanted to document this time in my family's life and also I wanted to share what I'm experiencing and what we're all just going through so that way family whether they're here in Hawaii or family from Indiana and Kentucky Florida um, Las Vegas um, anywhere wherever they are they can see what we're doing and how we're doing so this set of videos pretty much is going to be a lot of vlog style videos. It You may see clips of videos here and there. It might not all be in one day. It might be a combination of days in one video. And I just want to show you all just what's been going on lately. Just because every day in our life it is different. Nothing, no day is the same. And I just want to share that with you all and I hope you all enjoy our, our content so today I made a really good decision that I feel very good about so you may have seen another video and I have mentioned about me personally going through a lot during this time and you know one thing I want to say is we're all experiencing changes differently we're experiencing all this very differently um, some people have lost their jobs some people have lost income some people have lost the stability whether it's childcare or whatever it may be we're all at a place in our life where we're struggling and struggle the struggles real you know what I mean like it sucks but the struggle is real and I've been saying it in many of my vlogs like I just can't sugarcoat it because it's hard it's real and it sucks and a previous video I kind of just put it all out there so thank you all for listening to me and listening to how I feel and it just I needed to get it off my chest because I personally am experiencing a lot and I have come to a realization that I need to make a change and I am so happy to finally say that I have done the steps to make that change and here in the next couple days you will see what that change means besides taking um, a few days off here and there um, let's just say the month of May will be different <laughs> and I do look forward for the month of May and that's all I can say right now I don't want to um, say too much just yet but let's just say the month of May will definitely be um, a time of refresh renewal um, I would like to be back at a better mental state. I want to be there for my children and I look forward to the month of May. So as you all know, I've been working from home and this is the area that I've been working from home. It is our dining table that we actually don't use very often, only when guests are here. And I get to clean this up for a few days and pretty much keep it empty because I am not clocking back into work for a couple days, which is really, really nice. And yeah, it'll be nice to have a few days off and putting all this away, clearing it up.
off the table. I do have things for Kyra. This is just part of her schoolwork that the three weeks of schoolwork is done. So we're picking up the next step here in a few days. Of course, I got my gummies here. If you have not heard of lemon peel gummies, um, this is so yummy. I've been snacking on it when I'm working. And that's about it. This table is cleared out. So my husband went out to buy some poke. So here in Hawaii, raw fish is very popular. And this is what raw fish looks like. And we call this poke. So in here you see the majority of this is ahi poke. So I'm opening one up. And that is all raw fish. Ahi poke is tuna? Tuna. Tuna, yep. yeah. So, and what they do is they just marinate it. Um, my husband didn't grow up eating this, but since he's lived here in Hawaii, he loves this stuff. This one here is spicy tuna, so spicy ahi poke. So we got spicy ahi poke, and this is how much it costs. So if you look closely, it's $11.99 a pound. So this was $6. This here, $5.88 ahi secret. This one here is Ahi Hawaiian Style. What else did the husband get? Ahi Shoyu Poke. So this is um, with soy sauce. He also got some pickled garlic. And this is my favorite, which when I don't want to eat raw fish, then I'll eat imitation crab. So this is our most likely our lunch and dinner i like to eat it with seaweed or nori so this is the brand my preferred brand or flavor um you know every seaweed is not the same some it has a roasted taste others just have a interesting taste to it and here i am just cooking up some rice so once we're done we can eat some poke so obviously this is not the prettiest but this is how i eat raw fish or ahi poke and this is spicy ahi poke and i have rice i have nori and i pretty much wrap it up like that and i'm gonna eat it and this is a lunch for me yum i'm most likely not going to eat all of the raw fish that's actually a lot but I will have enough for dinner later this evening. But I'm excited, yummy. So a couple of things you might notice, first of all is one, my hair is brighter. <laughs> so over Easter, my mom colored my hair. And of course me picked the most blondish blonde I could find because my hair is so dark that it wouldn't even pick up the blonde color to begin with. And I've always bought box colored, very blonde because it never comes out that color. And mind you, I have not colored my hair in maybe 10 years. Like I did not, I have not bought box uh, color in years, years. And it's been a very long time since I got my hair colored, so and it's bright it's not even <laughs> but you know what this is the quarantine look i at this point there's nowhere to go get it fixed <laughs> and i'm just gonna embrace it and enjoy the brightness and who knows maybe i'll buy another box color and change it up but right now we're just gonna leave it as is and i am just going to rock it for now so you will enjoy this nice bright um side of me for a little bit <laughs> not sure how long i'll keep it maybe just for now while we're in this quarantine life phase so so right now I am on my way to go get the girls from my parents' house. So if you all don't know, when I am working from home, I do my best to either take one or both children to my parents' house. And today was just one of those days where I took both my children to my parents' house just so I can focus and work. And before I go get, um, 
before I go get my kids, I wanted to stop by this um, acai bowl place to pick up some snacks for the girls. So here in Hawaii, acai bowls and pitaya bowls, they're very popular. If you don't know what that is, acai is the Brazilian berry that's very similar to a blueberry. And they are very popular here. It's They pretty much think of it as a smoothie in a cup. And that's pretty much what it is. And, or smoothie in a bowl really, not a cup, but smoothie in a bowl. And basically, um, the plan is I was gonna pick some up for the girls. And this one particular place does, um, cookie dough like balls and so I'm going to pick up a few so I will order some and then go bring it to the girls so I'll be right back the goods so I'm gonna show you all right now here you see cookie dough there's chocolate chip cookie dough here you see a stuffed strawberry with a brownie on top some condensed milk another str strawberry one with Nutella and they're pretty much the same just little variations of it but they're so good they're so good and then that one has a pitaya bowl so yummy I can't wait to eat them all right, I got the goods. So on their Instagram, I saw that they were offering their little goodie cookie dough trays. And that's like one of my favorites to get when I go to this local place close by. So I picked up their array of cookie dough, which I absolutely love. I'm gonna go back up really quick right now so I can chill out of here. But yes, so the tray has a little bit of everything literally there is one that's stuffed strawberries which basically is a strawberry and inside it's either cream cheese or it can be condensed milk or it could be nutella or anything just whatever they have on hand and then sometimes they put um, more stuff on the top and it's just so good it's delicious and not healthy whatsoever but here in Hawaii, I don't know if it's popular in the mainland, but um, here in the mainland, or here in the mainland, um, here in Hawaii, the acai bowl, um, pitaya bowl craze happened maybe about 10 years ago. So I want to say that we, we were pretty early on that started the trend before the rest of the U.S. Um, got a hold of it. And there are a couple local places here in Hawaii that took it one step further and decided to add cookie dough onto their acai bowl. And that was a game changer. So if you have not had cookie dough um, with an acai bowl, it's so good, so delicious. It really is a nice combination between a healthy treat so like i said acai bowl pitaya bowl normally comes with fresh fruits um sliced up granola and a little bit of honey and it's a really healthy treat just by itself and you make it a little bad by adding that cookie dough but it's just so delicious so this cookie dough that i'm talking about it's edible cookie dough so it's not actual raw cookie dough it's actually cookie dough you can eat uh, but it's so delicious it's such a awesome snack to have and I maybe support this local business maybe once every two to three months or so I don't 
go there as often as I used to years ago or years ago I, I was addicted to a site but nowadays it's not so much um, um, now I like to tie up but I don't go as often because it can get pricey one bowl can cost about ten dollars so it's not something you can really eat all the time and it doesn't really make your whole family full so I can't do it all the time but every so often is it is nice it is nice but I am going to hang out at my parents house for a little bit um, enjoy my dad's company and just relax and then share the goodies with them and and then I'll come back on so can you all see my hair look how bright that is I kind of like it it just if it was this bright but professionally done, I think I would really like it. So what do you all think? What do you think with the hair? The color's nice, right? <laughs> it just is not as even as I'd like it to be. So, all right, I'll check back in with y'all in a little bit.